boyos, Rich Boy J here back here with another video, and this is going to be episode 23 of the Vardos Moth Build Series. My one goal for this week was to have the build in such a place where you could actually see the big tower in the back poking through, and that is what I attained, so I am very happy about that. Before I get into the content of the video, I want to say special thanks to this week's live stream donors. This week we had Michael English, Jaden Younger, Custom Brick Creations, Ty the Lego Guy, Spider Gwen, JC, Party Pony 99 Tiny Film Productions, and of course, as always, Screaming Seagull. So very special thanks to all of you guys. Like I always say, if you guys are not coming onto the live streams, I definitely urge you to do so. It is a great time. You get to see the build early before the update in the week, and you also just get to hang around with a bunch of people and talk Star Wars. What more could you want? So insofar as the build this week, my main focus was that courtyard over there, as well as the big Vardos Tower. And you can see just from this frame alone, I got quite a bit of work done on that. So I'm very excited to show you guys that as well. Got some lights in there as well well so the last portion of this video is literally going to be can't miss and finally i got the statue made for adam versio as i'm sure you could tell from the thumbnail so that was really exciting for me to get put up in this mock without further ado guys let's jump right into it first things first i'll start off with talking about this little staircase area that i give a little bit of a sprucing up to you can see that i finished building up these little sidewall sections on either side of it which looks pretty good in my opinion it's actually quite accurate to what you see in the game and um, I don't know, I like it. I like the fact that there's light gray in here. It kind of contrasts with the mostly dark gray ground. But also the thing that I like is just this technique right here where you kind of have the like two by two tiles um, really just border the entirety of the wall and then it kind of makes a trim going on that side as well. Uh, that technique was done using these bracket pieces. I don't know if I can actually here. Yeah, using bracket pieces in there, and they literally just work perfectly to be able to get that exact shape and basically just have this be flush with the top of it. And I don't know, it just that really satisfies me. <laughs> and let me know what you guys think about that. But I'm quite happy about this little area right here. And uh, moving forward, I need to really get built up the barricade that kind of goes right here that basically separates that section over there from this section over here. There's like two benches on either side right here and two lights. I'm not sure if I'm going to actually include those lights. Like I'll probably include the build, but the actual lights, I'm not too sure just because, well, I've closed in this entire area and I would have to tear up quite a bit of it to be able to get the wiring to go through. Although I don't think I'd be missing too much if I did not include that. So should not be that big of a deal. The other thing right here is of course the Admiral Versio statue. I took some time on LDD to design this thing and I am just thrilled with the way that it came out. I thought that I was going to be taking quite a few design cues from the uh, Giant Man figure from that Civil War airport set and it just ended up being the case that it didn't look enough like a minifigure for me and plus the way that one was built it was built to be articulated and like um, you know a big playable figure this is obviously not need to have those features so I was able to maybe make it a little bit more accurate to just a standard Lego minifigure and I think I did a pretty good job at that used um, obviously all red pieces this is literally a giant red statue and I think the scaling is actually quite great you can see you even compare a minifig to it it's quite huge and that's literally how it is in the video game so happy I was able to accomplish that um, the thing that was probably most difficult to design was the torso the torso took a lot of I don't know, it's a lot of effort in figuring out just that slant in there and how the arms would kind of interact with it um, all in all though I think I did a pretty good job at it you can see I have the arms kind of folded backwards which is meant to simulate the uh, hands behind the back pose that the imperial officers often make so that's why that looks like that the hat is probably my favorite part of it. That was something that I spent quite actually. That was something that I actually spent quite a bit of time on trying to figure out how I would design. And I don't know. I just I like the way it came out. It looks pretty accurate in my opinion. So definitely let me know what you guys think about the Admiral Versio statue. I am just so happy to have it here. I feel it really sticks out. Even though most of the people in the live stream apparently didn't notice it. I can't tell you how like I had the camera position where this thing was in the bottom corner, but I mean it wasn't really obscured. Like it was there in, in full frame. Like you could totally tell it. I can't tell you guys how many people came into the chat and asked, oh like have you finished the Admiral Versio statue? And I'm just like it's right there. It's sitting it's the big red thing. How can you guys not see that? But yeah I'm so happy to have this thing finally done. You can also see that there's a bit of a flower bed going all the way around it. Oh, keep knocking that arm down. And there's also two spotlights that shine up from the uh, flower petals. So that was actually not the easiest thing in the world to implement because 
those tubes aren't really connected to anything. I just had to basically angle the wires to get them to point upwards and towards the statue. That was the main goal. And it ended up working out. So once you guys see the lit portion of the video, you'll be able to really get a full appreciation of what the statue looks like. Because um, those lights are there in the game and I think it does add quite a bit to the aesthetic of the statue. And then finally, we have the huge Vardos Tower. Well, about a third of the huge Vardos Tower. Obviously, it's not complete, but I have made so much progress on this thing since the last time you guys have seen it. You can see that I used a lot of those trans red. Those are literally all trans red one by ones, and you can imagine those were not fun to stack. Fortunately, I had a bunch of them stacked up from the crystal caves that we had in Crate, but even still just trying to build them all into this was quite the task, but I did finally get those finished up, and I just love the way they look. I was really confused as to, you know, how I would be able to have I mean because in the video game it really it looks it's like a dark red color but it's still it, it's bright and it's illuminating so I was unsure how I was going to accomplish that but I think the trans red does the job very well there are of course lights behind um, all of those trans red I don't want to say they're windows because they're not really windows in the game but just those trans red panels those all have lights behind them so once again during the lit portion of the mock you guys will be able to see it and uh, it's on that other side as well. I'm actually later on going to go around that side so you guys can get a better view of it. But I'm just blown away with this thing. It is so freaking cool that this tower is finally beginning to take shape. Like I said, this is the most iconic part of the mock. And the fact that it is, it's starting to actually resemble a tower. You know, the stairs are complete, complete. I got them all tiled up. Those are good to go. I got these little columns that are come slanting down into the stairs those are for the most part good to go i really just have to tile up the rest and have them go up with the rest of the tower and um man this thing is just really coming together and um i think i quite underestimated the amount of two by four bricks that this thing would just tear through in my collection which i mean i really should have expected this thing is just it's, it's huge it, of course it's going to take up a lot of bricks but of course with these builds you just never know what's going to happen with it and just how many bricks it's going to take to be able to build a certain thing which does bring me to another point that i'm a little bit concerned about and that is that i'm actually running dangerously low on my 2x4 dark gray and 2x6 dark gray bricks which um, probably means i'm going to have to go and go search around for them in my local lego store we have none because i have been buying up as many as i possibly can so i'm going to i have to go to another local lego store i'm fortunate enough to even I'm fortunate enough to live in an area where we do have um, three Lego stores within an hour of me, so I'll have to check out the other two and see what's going on with that. But hopefully um, it does not put a huge halt to this mock, because I'm would those. i very reliant on those 2x4 and 2x6 dark gray bricks, so we'll see how that goes. But um, insofar as the rest of the mock, you can see that I've been also working on getting a lot of these um, light gray little parts of it that stick out from the side of the tower and if you're wondering why there's like colors in the very middle of it those are all going to be covered up by these little pillars right here so have no fear there will not be any random colors in this uh giant tower but one thing i can show you is the inside of it and you can see that it is quite a mess of wires there are so many leds going throughout this entire thing i think there's 12 leds just for that front panel six for each of the two side panels so it is a very large concentration of leds but um they all work together to make uh this tower glow literally quite literally it glows and man i just love this thing so freaking much but another thing i did want to show you guys is actually around this other side okay we made it around to the other side and i have something i'm really excited to show you guys right here this is the first Lego Star Wars Easter egg on this mock. If you guys remember, if you guys remember on Scarif we had the beach troopers, on Crate we had the little pressure plates that you and your friends had to stand on. This time we got a room that can only be accessed by stormtroopers. So you can see there's the iconic panel. It's obviously missing the sticker. I'm gonna have to actually print something out and get a sticker of a stormtrooper head put on there. But you can just from the build really get a good idea of what the heck this is supposed to be. And um, this is also the little camera that follows you around as you like walk near this thing so um, I'm gonna have basically a row of stormtroopers trying to get into this building on this side and they of course are gonna have to sign in with the stormtrooper panel so I don't know unless some more Lego Star Wars nostalgia to add to this mock and I thought this was a perfect place to put it it's on this side of the tower so you wouldn't really notice it unless you came right over here and looked in here which is good you don't want the Easter eggs to overwhelm the entirety of the mock so I thought this is actually great placement for it 
And um, I think a lot of people are going to get a kick out of this when it gets finished up because I have like one more really funny joke that I'm going to include here and um, actually one other place in this mock. So you guys definitely will want to stay tuned for that. But we'll also give you guys a view of just the back on the other side of this giant, giant tower. This tower is already, I guess, the second tallest building in the mock. And it's going to grow three times, which will make it much taller than that building right there, which is currently the tallest building which is currently the tallest building in the mock. So I got quite a bit of building to do. One of the things I was actually considering is, you know, this thing's gonna get built up and it's gonna be taller than me. Like, it, like if I look up at it, I'm not gonna be able to see the top of it. I may honestly just like not add a roof to it because no one will ever be able to see it. It's gonna be that tall and that'll really make it easy for me because I'm not gonna have to like stand on a chair and figure out how to, you know, fill in the holes and the gaps to make that roof actually possible. So. That may actually be something that just eases this entire build process for me. Um, I don't know what's there, but it's something that's just so far out of the way to see that it, it really is not going to bother me. So uh, that's going to finish up the build portion of this video. I'm actually going to go turn off the lights in the room, turn on the lights on the mock, and you guys will get to see it fully illuminated. Now first, we're going to take just a step back and just appreciate the full scope of the lights in this mock. And of course, right now, the thing that is sticking out the most are those giant red glowing panels on that big tower back there. And it really just blows my mind that once I finish it, it's going to literally go up to about that point in the room. I'm just, oh, I'm so excited to just keep working on this thing. You guys have no clue, but those lights on that tower just make me so happy. I mean, they came out very well. And let's move our way over towards that side of the mock so you guys can get a better view of it. Just There's so many great pictures to take of this mock now that that's really looming in the background. Because in the game, you know, wherever you are in the mock, wherever you are, wherever you are in the game, you can see the top of the tower just kind of looming over everything. And that's really kind of the point that we're getting to in this mock. Like, as I come around here, you can just see from various viewpoints the tower poking out from various areas. So that's actually very cool. But let's continue make our way over here. So you guys can see I got a bunch of LEDs in those side windows as well as that main front window slash panel. And um, there's tons of LEDs in there. It's, it's quite bright in there actually. But um, they all work together to make something that I would consider to be beautiful. So really happy with the way this thing looks. Definitely let me know what you guys think about that giant tower. Next thing I have to show you is the lights on the Admiral Versio statue. So you can see that there's two spotlights in the ground right there. They shine up and towards him, and that's the way it is in the game. So <laughs> I tried to make it look as good as possible. And you guys can see that the lights reflecting off of him actually looks pretty freaking cool. The fact that it's red, I think, adds so much to the mock. Because, like I said, this mock is mostly light gray and dark gray, but those red elements that are... Um, made to pop out even more because of the fact that they have lights shining on them it actually makes quite a big difference and adds a lot to the mock, I think. So, um, of course, let me know what you guys think about this statue as well. And then I'll take another view just back, get the statue and the building both in frame. Like, this just makes me so happy, you guys. You have no idea. Whenever I first decided I wanted to do this mock, this was easily the part that I was most excited to include. And it's finally happening, so... I'm just, I'm a very happy boyo right now. But really, that's all I have to show you guys for the build portion of this of this video. Let's go ahead and make our way to the end of the video. And that's going to finish up the video this week, guys. I do hope that you enjoyed the progress that I've made on Vardos. This mock is just making me happy with each and every week that I put out an update. The fact that that tower is really just coming into fruition is just amazing to me. It's the most iconic part of the map. And now that I am being able to recreate it in LEGO and it's actually resembling the thing that it's supposed to represent in the video game, it's just so excited to me. So I can't wait to get it built up pretty further. The one issue, like I mentioned, that I'm running into is I'm running really low on Dark Grey 2 by four bricks so i may have to make a trip to not my own lego store we are totally out but maybe some other lego stores in the area to check and see if they have two by four and two by six dark gray bricks because it would really be tragic if i just ran completely out and didn't have anything to do so i'll keep you guys updated on what happens with that situation but all in all i'm really happy with the progress i was able to make on this mock during this week i'm really going to focus in on just getting started that street that's on the other side i mean that's really the last big section of the mock that i have to do so i just want to at least get it started get me Maybe some platforms over there built up so I can actually build on top of it. And of course, going to have to convert my... Imp 
gonna have to convert my first order at, -AT into an Imperial one and get that thing standing up over there as well. So exciting times when it comes to this mock right now, guys. I can literally just feel myself getting closer and closer to finishing it. So like I always say, guys, if you like what I do, go ahead, support the video by hitting the like button, support the channel by smashing that subscribe button, and I will be back again very soon.